Okay, so I decided that I'd make a, uh, a speedrun tutorial for Space Chimps in case anyone wants to speedrun this game, which I don't know why they would. I find it fun, but I don't think other people would. But um, basically, I'm just going to be taking you through everything I know at, at this point. Um, just everything I figured out. Um, I guess that's really it. This will probably be, this is more than likely going to be multiple parts because my phone can't hold that much storage since I'm recording this with my phone. Um, but yeah, uh, let's begin. Time to start as soon as you try to play. So at the beginning here is just a cutscene. I usually spam A to get through it. Um, so this first, uh, this first level you're just pretty much going through trying to make a certain cycle. Um, uh, see if I can get this jump. Okay, this jump is very tricky to get. You can get that jump. You can uh, jump from there onto that moving platform, but it's very, very hard. Um, I've only gotten it about like 10, 11 times maybe. Uh, yeah, but it's pretty standard. There's nothing really crazy in this level. You just kind of have to go through do out a level how you usually do it, but fast. Um, here you can make these jumps just by... Uh, Doing one jump. Oh, I forgot to mention. Um, if okay, so say there's a. I'll show you it later. Actually, um, there's a jump coming up later. That's really hard to make unless you know what you're doing. I really wish there's a way to skip that because that would save a couple of seconds. Yeah, pick up this guy, throw him at that wall, whatever, you know. Okay, so this jump. Now, if you jump regularly, like, from the end, you can't make it. You're literally a little bit away, but for some reason in this game, if you run, fall off, for oh, whoops, I hit, I was too close to the pole. So you gotta be more to the left, though. But if you run, fall off, and then do a double jump, you'll make it, because not only do you get a little farther, because you fell off, but when you jump, you get a little more height. I don't know why, but that's just how the game works. Okay. So, then you run over here. Okay, um... Oh, shit. That's never happened before. Why are they moving at the exact same time? That's not supposed to happen, but whatever. Um, okay. Um, this level's pretty easy. You don't really... There's nothing really crazy. The only way you'd have to reset on this level is if you mess up really, really fucking badly. These guys can be kind of annoying because they'll chase after you. What I do is I try to get them stuck in those guys, but it doesn't always work. Yeah, that's why they're annoying, is they can hit you and knock the thing out of your hand multiple times. So I just wait for it to explode sometimes. Oh, it didn't even kill all of them that time, right? Just have to throw it at that, climb this. Um, these are dull bananas. You can, they're collectibles throughout the game, you have to find them. That's just to say, hey, there's dull bananas in this game. You would split now. As soon as the mission stat uh, screen comes up, you would split. Now the cutscene you can cutscene cutscene you can skip. You do not want to save. I if you save, then you have to make another profile. You do it too many times, but whatever. Um, so this next level, this next level is pretty interesting. Um, there's a skip in this level that I call double switch skip. Not the best name for it, but that's what I call it. So here you get... So, okay, so here you get Squirt. If you hold left trigger after this, like, okay, so... With Squirt, you can hold left trigger and you go in the first person mode and you can shoot stuff. Um, that's pretty much all you have to know about Squirt. Yeah, this is what Squirt does. You can just wait until that thing disappears into the ground and go right away. Right here you have to shoot these spider things. I don't even know what they are. I've never seen the movie. Okay, so right here, um, usually as soon as you, um, 
this bump right here. I use this bump as a reference point. As soon as you go over that bump, a cutscene will start. But if you jump over the bump onto this button, the platform will start going out while this cutscene is playing, so it saves some time. So then you just have to shoot that down. Okay, then here's where double switch skip comes in. Okay, usually what you- oh god, I hit the lag, so like, yeah, there's certain spots where if you land on this, it'll lag the game a shit ton. But, usually what you have to do is you have to go over there, and all the- oh fuck, and all the way up there to go get, like, little glowing heads to put on, uh, these platforms. But instead of doing that, because that's slow, uh, we're gonna jump onto this wall here, run all the way up to the right, jump over and around, and grab onto the hitbox and go and just walk through the wall and jump right on through. I found that by accident, by the way. Whoops, I fucked up. Okay, so as soon as it stops, you can just go, but I fucked up and went too early. Okay, now what I do here is I shoot those, wait for that to get near the middle, and then I double jump across here. It just seems like the best way to do it. Right here, I wait until that gets close enough to the platform, then I shoot both of them. And then I wait till that's facing those, because I don't want to die and have to restart. And then you can just walk up this and go, and then you'd split. Next level. And this next level is also pretty basic until the end of this one glitch that saves like maybe 10, 15 seconds. Um, I don't know what to call it, so I don't know what to call the skip. I'm not good at naming skips and shit. But yeah. Oh fuck, I didn't make it. Whatever. Oh my god. Oh, that was bad. Um I might not make I might not make the good cycle then. Or maybe I will. Okay, there's a trick coming up right here actually. It's like uh, last level where you would jump over the cutscene trigger and land on the button so the cutscene would trigger um, so the platform go out as the cutscene's happening. What you want to do is be about like this far away, hit the thing, run back to this wall and you'll run across the wall while the cutscene is happening, but you'll be on the other side. Okay. Now these things shoot air out of them. What I do is I just wait for them to shoot the air and then I just jump because if you jump you stay in place. Another cutscene. If there really is a way quick. to topple the beast, you might be able to escape. Oh, I'm trying to fix my camera really quick, it doesn't look good. There we go, that's, I think that's better. That could be exactly the same, I don't know, and I just did that for nothing, but whatever. So, I usually jump across this gap. I don't know if it's faster, but, you know, shit like that can happen, so I wouldn't recommend it. Jump over here. We'll double jump over there. Get on this platform. I'm surprised I still made that, actually. Okay, so... Up here, you can, okay, so you're supposed to jump from here to this one to that one, but what you can do instead is just jump over here, jump on that, hit that one, and then get up there. It saves about, I want to say around five seconds, somewhere around there. Small time save, but a time save at that, you know, and the time saves will help. Okay, so then well, I'll wait for this, jump onto it. Oh wow, I'm an idiot. Okay. I usually kill those guys while I wait for the platform. And then once you get to the second one, you can just double jump. Double jump up to here, onto here, kill these guys, cause why not? Okay. Now, after this room, um, is the skip I do. Okay, you need to swing back on this one, because if you just jump right away, you'll, you won't make the jump, and you'll fall into this and die. Um, okay, this room right here. So what you're supposed to do in this room is fight those three guys back there, but instead, you can go over to this thing, 
face this way, double jump up. Okay, maybe not that way. Face, yeah, like that. Okay, double jump up, then run across, double jump across this, and then jump through that. And that just skips uh, fighting those people through that room so you can end the level. Okay, and then you'd split. Um, should I end it here? I'll do, I'll do the next two levels. Okay, another cutscene, whatever. Don't save the game. Wait for the loading screen. Okay. This level is also very basic. There's no skips I know of for this level um, so far. Um, can I just do this level how you usually do it, but fast? Uh, oh, a thing right here, actually. It's, oh, you fucking piece of shit. Now, uh, whatever. I'll kill him and then show it off. But, um, if you jump at the right time, you can, uh, get a good cycle on that. You can jump as early as you can right there to make that jump. Run across the wall, whatever. Jump onto the rail. Jump onto the rail. Now I usually double jump from here to make that jump. That's kind of risky, but I do it. Then, uh, run across that. Grind this rail. There's a thing you can do there to jump, um... There's a thing you can do on that pole to jump from the end of that pole onto this ledge. I did it like two times, I have no clue how I did it, so... Whatever. I guess. Okay, so I didn't make the cycle, but what I can do is I can do that thing where you gain more height when you fall and just make it across. Okay, jump off that. Oh yeah, by the way, these things I'm collecting are called blob hoppers. Um, there's like 500 and something of them in the game. And you get an achievement for collecting them all, so yeah. Okay, this pole, um, I, I think I should say this. It's only happened to me once, but I was jumping from the back of this pole. Oh, like that! And the game crashes. The game just crashes. You can't, like, okay, I'm, I'm pressing the home button. Nothing's happening. I'm gonna go try and turn off my Xbox. You can't turn, okay, you can turn it off. Before it wouldn't let me turn it off, but the game just the game just crashes. You can't do anything about it. The game will just crash like that when you try to jump from the back of the pole like that, and you can just lose your entire run. So j just so you know, don't do that. Okay. Um, I'll just run through the level really quick. Then uh, I just I just wanted to show that off because I think that's fucking ridiculous. Okay. God, why does it gotta be so much shit before the actual game? I'm just spamming A. Okay. Okay, missions. So what were we on? Okay, hammer the jungle, right? So I'll just run through this one really quick, and then I'll run through Sports Army really quick. Hopefully, I'll have enough time to do that because I don't know how much memory my, how much like, how long of a video my phone can hold. But we'll figure that out, I guess. Um, so yeah, so I'll just do this part of the level fast to show you how it would look. Fast enough. Okay. 
I still think that's fucking ridiculous though that it crashes. Oh my god. That is just... Oh. I was on such a... Like the first the first time that happened to me, I was like, was like a minute and a half ahead because it was like one of the first runs I had done. Um, after I found the double switch skip and the, uh, whatever the fuck I'm gonna call it skip. Um, then I found those two and I had finally gotten a good run with them, and then I do that and the game just crashes. I was so pissed. I was so fucking pissed. I jumped way too early, doesn't matter though. run through here really quick. Oh, a uh, funny thing about those plant enemies, um, so you have to ground pound them to kill them, but if you ground pound them at just the right time, and they're like attack animation or something, um, they'll just freeze in one position instead of doing the dying animation. So you want to jump on that rock and jump up to here because it's faster than just climbing the thing. I forgot that I was still doing a tutorial for a second. I'm an idiot. But, um, okay, so you wanna just wait on his platform. There's nothing you can really do here. I am the biggest idiot. I. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god, I am so fucking bad. Why am I. I think I'm supposed to be doing something. Mm hmm. Okay. Well, that's embarrassing, but whatever. Um, okay, so coming up is a boss battle, I guess you could call it. Um, oh shit, I almost didn't jump. That would have sucked. Okay. So, these guys, you can just ignore them. Hopefully they won't come after you. Gotta get those bananas for safety. So you wanna bait this guy's attack, and then go in and hit this guy. Sometimes the second guy will be a dick. But this guy with the staff and the cool hat is your main target. Uh, and then you would split. You can't. Don't save the game. <laughs>